Whenever I talk on my channel about the benefits of masturbation and about how good it is for you to touch yourself regularly, somebody will always scream at me in the comments about it. There are always some voices claiming that men shouldn't do it, that it's harmful and that, among other things, it will lead to erectile dysfunction. And while this claim is not completely unfounded, I think that there is a much more nuanced conversation that we need to have about this topic. So what's the truth? What's really the link between masturbation and erectile issues? Keep watching to find out. My name is Helena Nista and I make videos that help you have the best sex of your life. And today we're going to answer the question whether masturbation can cause erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction, also known as ED for short, or erectile issues, erectile difficulties, or problems with erection, is basically a situation where a man struggles to obtain or maintain an erection that is sufficient for a satisfying intercourse. And many people believe that ED is caused by masturbation, by frequent masturbation, by excessive masturbation, by masturbating to porn, or just by masturbation in general. This is why we hear so many men calling other men to abstain from masturbation, to adopt nofap, um, or basically a non-masturbatory lifestyle. But that belief is completely unfounded and claiming that masturbation leads to problems with erections is simply incorrect. This is not to say that men are completely off the hook and they can just go crazy and do whatever they want. We need to have a bit of a discussion about the way men masturbate because particular uh, masturbatory habits and practices can lead not to ED directly but can lead to other problems that then potentially could lead to erectile problems. Please remember that a lot of men masturbate regularly and frequently throughout their entire lives and they never develop any issues or any issues with their erections. So what does that mean? There are many different ways to masturbate. There are many different ways to touch yourself when it comes to how often you do it, how much pressure you apply, how much speed, how gently or how aggressively you touch yourself, even what kind of thoughts or emotions you feel or hold in your body while you're touching yourself. All of that will actually affect your experience and can lead to certain other issues. So we are going to have a bit of a deeper dive right now into these different unhealthy practices. Let's look at a few examples of how a poor masturbatory habit can lead to a, an issue that then in turn can potentially cause ED. First of all, if you apply a lot of pressure, force and speed to your penis with your hand, which is also referred to as the death grip syndrome, if you're not familiar with that term, make sure to watch the video I made about this topic so that you can learn a lot more. This kind of practice can lead to desensitizing your penis, which means basically a reduction in its sensitivity. Practically, this will look like your penis just not experiencing as much pleasure as before, or you needing to apply a lot more stimulation in terms of time intensity uh, of stimulation, or maybe even visual stimulation, in order to actually reach a climax. So if that situation is going on for a while um, and you, your penis is getting more and more desensitized, then eventually, yeah, you might struggle to even get an erection. Uh, while you're applying stimulation to your penis or somebody else is applying that stimulation to your penis. Excessive use of porn can lead to you basically wiring your body and your nervous system to only respond with arousal to particular kind of visual stimuli. And no, this doesn't mean that porn causes erectile dysfunction or erectile problems. It simply means that there is a possibility that if you are using porn excessively, particularly if you're watching porn that is aggressive, then that might lead to conditioning your body to creating an erection and arousal only in particular situations. Hence, in other situations, for example, when you are in bed with your partner, your system might just not be stimulated sufficiently in order for your penis to get hard. If your masturbatory uh, habits or experiences cause you these kind of low vibrational emotions like shame, guilt, uh, or even depression, then that can lead to 
ED as well. Not the masturbation itself, but those feelings of touching yourself with a sense of shame, guilt, emotional discomfort, etc. If you keep feeling this way, particularly when you're touching yourself, those feelings is exactly what will cause a struggle in your system uh, when it comes to obtaining an erection. Similarly, if you're masturbating because there are emotional issues or resentment or conflict in your relationship and that's why you you have to masturbate because there is no partnered sexual experiences together that stress that these feelings and that negative energy is putting on your body and on your nervous system that can lead to you experiencing problems with erections so if masturbation is not actually what causes erectile issues what does? Well, a range of things, actually. One of them is stress. If you're experiencing stress during sex in the form of performance anxiety, or if you're just stressed in your life because of the work situation or your family situation, that stress is going to be a killer when it comes to your sexual performance. Similarly, depression. If you are experiencing depression in your life, that might have a strong negative effect on your erections, particularly if you are taking medication like antidepressants, which are now well known and well documented for causing problems uh, with getting hard. Any cardiovascular issues, including low or high blood pressure, it just makes sense that if your erection is dependent on a sufficient blood flow into your penis, then if that blood flow isn't working very well in your body, then that will necessarily affect your penis and its performance in the bedroom. Lack of exercise, poor diet and bad eating habits, excessive consumption of alcohol, cigarettes are known to be very bad for your erections, excessive body weight and many different health issues like, for example, diabetes. These are the real culprits here. These are the things that actually get between you and your hard-on. So please don't blame your masturbatory practices. Don't tell other men to not touch their bodies. You're not doing yourself any favors. You're not doing anybody else any favors. And here's what you should actually be doing if you want to either reduce your chances of getting uh, ED or if you are already suffering from certain problems when it comes to your erections and you would like to reduce them. Take care of your health. Make sure you see a doctor if there is anything wrong uh, with your body, particularly with your cardiovascular system. Adopt a healthy lifestyle. This is a huge one when it comes to uh, being a good lover and having strong erections. Eating a healthy diet, drinking plenty of water, reducing consumption of alcohol, giving up cigarettes altogether. It might be also helpful to you to engage in some kind of mindfulness activities like meditation or yoga. Uh, or anything else that works for you. And this is particularly important if you are suffering from stress, if you are experiencing stress in your life, at work, at home, or even uh, as performance anxiety uh, in the bedroom. So yes, you can definitely masturbate. This is actually something that is good for you, good for your body, for your mind, for your emotions, but make sure to do it in a way that will support your pleasure, your powerful orgasms, and your strong erections. And if you want to learn exactly how to do that, I have a very powerful online course called Masturbation Coaching that will teach you everything you need to know. Masturbation Coaching is a seven-week journey where each week you'll be going deeper and deeper into your own erotic and orgasmic potential. You'll be exploring self-touch practices that are healthy, embodied, mindful, and very orgasmic. So if that sounds good, make sure to grab the link from the description bar below and I look forward to seeing you there.